Tonight, a woman in Arlington fighting to save a dog she was fostering from being euthanized. The Humane Rescue Alliance telling Fox 5 the incident shows that the dog is a public safety risk. Our David Kaplan spoke with the woman and shelter tonight. He joins us now live. So, Davis, tell us, why is this happening? Well, the Humane Rescue Alliance says that Marley's history is one of the key reasons. They've been dealing with her for three years now. She has been rehomed multiple times since 2020, has one documented incident of killing a cat, according to the alliance, and has been through their imp uh, behavioral improvement program process. They say that the dog has now also bitten a human. More on that in a second, but that foster parent, the woman who was bitten, says this should not be happening in her mind. I'm so sorry about the incident. Like, obviously, it's not um, ideal at all, um, but I would have never imagined that it would have come to this point where it, that would mean that the dog would have to, you know, be killed for defending herself and defending me in her mind. Here's what happened. Rachel Manu and Marley are on a walk. A Yorkie who was on a leash but whose owner wasn't holding that leash approaches her and barks. Manu bends down to separate the dogs. Marley bites the Yorkie. The Yorkie, I'm told, suffered serious injuries but is expected to be okay. Manu reaches into Marley's mouth, she told me, to separate her, and Manu got injured in the process. Manu surrendered the dog back to the Humane Rescue Alliance after the incident. The Humane Rescue Alliance says the fact that Manu was hurt, even if it wasn't a direct act of aggression, is indicative of a potential danger to humans in their mind. Manu was told the day after the incident, Marley would likely be euthanized. Manu took to social media pleading for help. One organization has reached out saying they will take Marley. They will take any liability that may come with her. The Humane Rescue Alliance tells me it is not that simple. We have a robust behavior and training center. We have behavior experts. If that was the solution, then it would have already solved the issue. And that's, that's not the issue that we're facing here. The issue we're facing here is behavior in which has and will result in humans and other animals being hurt. Um, and that's something that we have to take seriously because we have to counterbalance, you know, uh, what is best for an animal and all, what is best for the community. The Humane Rescue Alliance tells me these are decisions that are not made lightly. This impacts their entire staff, and they do not like doing this, to be frank. As of now, Marley is set to be put down on Monday. I'm told one of the organizations trying to save her is considering an injunction. I was just told that within the last half hour, the petition to save Marley has 2,500 signatures. One of those signatures... The owner of the Yorkie, who indicated that she is upset about what happened to her dog, but also indicated she doesn't think Marley should be put down for it. Back to you.